Foo Fighters' Dave Grohl has recently appeared at a public speaking engagement where he talked about a variety of different topics, including the future of the Foo Fighters. Now, there have been numerous rumors over the past several years that have indicated that the Foo Fighters will not be carrying on or that they're planning to break up or there's some sort of turmoil within the band, so much so that a couple years ago the Foo Fighters actually had to release a video dispelling those rumors. It was a tongue-in-cheek video because they considered those to be exactly what we just said, rumors in and of itself. Not to say that any band's internal dynamics are perfect, but Dave Grohl spoke about the future of the band during this event. We're going to get to that but he also revealed that he is currently sidelined with an injury that's been plaguing him for quite some time, which was the reason the band had to cancel uh, two shows in New Orleans recently because Dave decided to finally stop putting it off and take care of himself and get that surgery done. So speaking on that first, he said, this is something I've had to deal with for a long time and it's not the end of the world, but I did have to have surgery on my arm because I need it to pay the rent. He explained during the Polestar Live conference in Los Angeles on Tuesday, according to Billboard. He continued saying, It's funny having surgery because you actually get a little bit of rest. Right before they wheeled me in for surgery, the guy said, Hey, we're going to give you something that's going to make you feel really good. And I thought, finally, I get to take a nap. Now, we know that thankfully Dave's surgery went well, so he's going to be on the mend and be able to get ready for the stage. It's unclear exactly when he's going to be fully healed, but we know that he does have some U.S. festival appearances coming up around May. Now, speaking on the future of the Foo Fighters and talking about where they are as a band right now, Dave equated getting that surgery done to the longevity that he wants to have of his career. And he talked about in the past that he wasn't always so confident in the future of the band and essentially that every album basically could have been their last. We'll do one more and then we'll, we'll move on from this, so to speak. So he said the following, for the first 20 years of our band, it was, let's make another record and that's probably going to do it. Let's get one more in there and call it a day. Then it gets to the point where I refer to it like, imagine your grandparents getting a divorce. I'm sure it happens sometimes, but why? You can't break up. Who even cares anymore? Just go play shows. Dave also spoke about the state of the music industry and how while music values have declined, you can never build an app that's going to replace the live music experience. Speaking on that topic, he said that, when you were 20 years old in Thunder Bay, you'd go see live music. The excitement of seeing live music, of seeing people on stage, that will never go away. We don't sell a tenth of the records that we sold 20 years ago, but we sell out stadiums in a lot of places. One of the reasons is we've been touring for 20 years and we've never stopped. You have to establish a base and be faithful to them. And uh, the man he was talking to pointed out that Foo Fighters have extended their base internationally, which a lot of bands are unable to do. He said, it's only work if you don't want to do it. I've never said, oh, I have to go on stage and drink whiskey and have 30,000 people sing my song. It's pretty f cool. And uh, it was an interesting discussion there for Dave Grohl, for those who got to attend. Thanks to Billboard for pointing that out in their article. The good news is that Dave Grohl doesn't have any plans of slowing down. We all age, but Dave is still relatively young compared to other rockers. And for anyone who has seen him recently, he hasn't lost a step. So that's great. Glad to see again he's on the mend and he is healing from his surgery. We'll let you know if anything changes with their upcoming touring obligations. We will keep you posted on that. And if you would like to learn more about hard rock and heavy metal bands, you can subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. You can also check out these recommended videos for more from this channel. That's all for now. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you all very soon.